Hey guys, Travis Gillespie here. We're working with finding solutions to equations, and this last equation was an addition equation. And I'm going to continue on with some addition equations, but I'm going to replace the box with a variable and integer chips with numbers. So let's get started. So let's pretend you're given an equation that's x plus 87 is equal to 152. And I want to figure out what the value x is. Now I can guess and check and try to figure out what this number is, or I can use another method. I can isolate the variable. So that's my overall goal. I want to get this variable alone on an island by itself in isolation. So we're going to isolate the variable. The way to do that is I have to get rid of adding 87. So how do you undo addition? Well, you're going to use subtraction. It's the opposite or the inverse. So what's the opposite of adding 87? Or the inverse of adding 87? Well, it's subtracting 87. So I'm going to subtract 87 on this side of the equation. But whatever I do to this stuff on this side of the equation, I have to do to this stuff on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 87 on this side as well. Well, addition of 87 and subtraction of 87, they cancel each other out. And I'm left with x, so I'm just going to change colors. So x is equal to 152 minus 87, which is 65. Now I could box this up, but I'm not sure that it's correct. Maybe I made a miscalculation. So there's a surefire way of checking your work. Substitute the value back in for the variable x in this case. So I'm going to rewrite this as 65 plus 87 is equal to 152. I'm not finished. I've actually got to calculate this work. So 65 plus 87. Well, 5 plus 7 is 12. I'm going to carry my 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Plus 8 is 15. 152. Now I can see this matches up with that value, but I'm still not finished. I want to show that I've calculated this work. So 65 plus 87 is 152. That's equal to 152. And I'm going to show that it checks out by putting a check mark here. This stuff is equal to this stuff. From here I can box my answer. 65 is a solution to this equation, so x is equal to 65. Let's take a look at another problem. So this time I have x plus 30 is equal to 130. Again, my overall goal is to isolate the variable. So how do I undo addition of 30? Through the inverse of subtracting 30. If I do it to this side of the equation, I've got to do it to the other side of the equation. Adding 30 or addition of 30 and subtraction of 30 cancel each other out. I'm left with x is equal to 130 minus 30 gives a value of 100. My last step, I'm going to substitute 100 in for x. So I have 100 plus 30, and I'm going to rewrite that's equal to this stuff over here, which is 130. So 100 plus 30 gives me a value of 130, and we're going to say that that is equal to 130. So does this stuff equal this stuff? It checks out. Therefore, x is equal to 100, and I can box my answer. Cool stuff. I'll see you in another video.